They slap nuts. Listen up. This is AW here presenting you the Ana SmackDown wrestling video. This is an AEW video, guys. And before we get into this, and I did give you a hint what this video is about. Slap nuts. If you've watched wrestling over the years, you know what slap you know who says slap nuts. But before we get into that, smash that like button once the video goes up. Like, like smash and like basically the same thing. If you're new here and if you like my wrestling content, subscribe, subscribe. I'm only four more subs away from 100. So please get me to 100 and I might do something special for a 100 subs stream or video. I don't know. Something special, wrestling related. Also, share this out. Share out with your friends, colleagues, family, anybody that likes the wrestling. This is a channel for you. Laying the SmackDown. Maybe the SmackDown. So yes, yeah, AW here, guys. So Aaron Warder, and there's, and if you want to find me, there's my Twitter down below. As just scrolling down below. So this is not gonna be a long video, but it, it, it's an AW. Video. My AW videos don't get as much as my WWE videos because WWE is obviously, I admit it, WWE is obviously a bigger company, a bigger, more mainstream than AEW. It's the biggest wrestling company in the world, obviously. But this is about Jeff Jarrett, you know, double, I can't do it, J-E-F-J-E-F-F-J-A-R-R-E-T-T. Yes, Jeff Jarrett. And if you all know Jeff Jarrett, he was, he's been around a long, long time. His father is very well known. His father still had, owned a promotion. Jeff Jarrett went to WWE and WCW. He started TNA. He was he helped build up TNA in his early in his early days. And then he started like some Global Force Wrestling, I believe. And then, you know, he went back to WWE. But let's get into this. Now he's in AEW. He's in AEW All Elite Wrestling. Now he's going by the name of the Outlaw, Jeff Jarrett. As his new name. He was never called the Outlaw before. He was called the Chosen One. Back in WWE. No, WCW was the Chosen One. And as and he, he called everybody Slap Nuts. His fit, what his fit, what he's known for. Remember, he was known as a country music star in WWE. But once he got to WCW, and later, later in his career, WWE, he, he that that character kind of went away. It didn't. It didn't work with what the, where the Western world was going in the late 90s. So he went to, he, he embraced a new character, a more serious character. But yet, but he, he kept a guitar, he brought a guitar, and he always hit his opponent with the guitar. And that was his trademark, hitting, hitting his opponent with the guitar. Well, they brought him in in AEW. And here's the thing. This has been a year of Jeff Jarrett. I'm going to get my thumbnail up. Because I think I deleted the picture, but this is this is why he's been in in Jeff Jarrett, where he's been this whole year. GCW fact: He's worked at WWE, then he took, then he left, but he did become special guest referee at the SummerSlam match, the Usos, and I, was it the New Day? It might have been New Day. He did help. He did participate in Ric Flair's last match. He was a, one of the opponents. And then he debuted in All Elite Wrestling last Wednesday. Help with Jay Lethal, with, with the Jay Lethal faction, whatever. Uh, I'm not so big into that. And no, ain't help. He took out Darby Allen, as you know. Darby Allen, you know, is with Sting, right? They're they're they've been with he's been with Sting for two years now. And if you know an Impact or TNA, Jeff Jarrett Sting is one of the most memorable. Stories that it, TNA slash Impact had over the years, over his 20 year history, because it's actually been two decades since TNA and Impact has been around. And Sting and Jeff Jarrett has been like the biggest, probably the biggest, most well known rivalry in Impact and TNA. And I, it was now they wanted to be, make it, they brought it more into a bigger stage now in AEW because it's, to be honest, as much as Impact tried, it's not, it's not, it's not as big. As AEW is AEW is on a legit TBS, TBS, and obviously Rampage on TNT, and that's big. That's Warner Brothers, and they get mainstream time. 
And now they want to bring that into the, the Sting and Jeff Jarrett thing. They want to bring that into WWE. No, not WWE. AEW. Not WWE. Uh, my, uh, my mistake. My botch. My botch. This is what I think of that. This is what I think of that. This is my botch. Blackheart. I talked to Blackheart. My botch. But now they now they're, now they want to bring that whole Sting Jeff Jarrett dynamic from Impact onto well with a bigger, a more wider audience. I mean, it's not as big as WWE, but it's bigger than Impact. What TNA and Impact will ever get, or ever ever get now gets now and ever gets back then. It's bigger, and that's the whole idea to, to rejuvenate the Sting Jeff Jarrett thing in AEW with Darby involved and with. Jay Lethal, Sonny Jot, the other guy, this the new guy, Colin Carter, I think his name is. And they just want to bring that on the, in AEW. Look, I know it's not a big, like a lot of people are not big Jeff Jarrett fans. Some are. <laughs> but we'll see where this goes in AEW. We'll see, we'll see what happens on Dynamite this Wednesday. But you know what? I like, I do like listening to this pod of Conrad though. I like his pod. I mean, I like most of Conrad's pods. Jeff Jarrett's, well, uh, Jeff Jarrett's pod. I like Eric Bischoff, Mick Foley. What? Bruce Pitcher sometimes, JR. I like I like listening to um the podcast of Conrad's. I do like it that. But yeah, this is, um, well, the outlaw Jeff Jarrett is in AEW. Slap nuts, slap nuts, slap nuts, slap nuts. You better accept the slap nuts. Remember, sh- tell me your opinions about this. Sh- like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys, AWO. Oh, before I go, I'm going to do something new for you guys. This is, uh, before, this is for you where I let you guys go. Too sweet! Sweet! Too sweet! Too sweet! Too sweet, guys. NWO. We're Bullet Club now. Take care, guys.